Good morning, everyone, um, and happy Monday. Um, I hope that you all had opportunities to enjoy a little rest and renewal over the weekend, um, that you were able to spend some time with family and friends, and just some time for yourself as well. Um, so, you you may, if you've been following these uh, these video this video series, you may remember. Um, a, a little while ago now, a uh, month or two ago, I talked about one of the ways I was struggling is feeling like my world was getting a little bit smaller, that the world was shrinking. Um, I think because we're staying so close to home, um, not really able to travel right now, um, concerned about my own personal health and safety and that of family and friends, and so it felt like things were getting a little bit smaller, and that was um, difficult in some ways, and also, um, you know, um, learning some new things about that as well. Well, we decided and talked it through a little bit and decided to talk about expanding our world just a little bit and made a um, an overnight trip to Trinidad this weekend. Uh, we went down on Friday, spent the night, and then came back on Saturday and talked through about how to do that um, as safely as possible. Um, mostly, most of the time was spent in the car, enjoying some beautiful scenery, um, taking the Highway of Legends on the way back home and going through uh, some smaller towns and by the Spanish Peaks and really um, in, enjoying the, the wilderness. Um, so anyway, we decided to, to expand our world a little bit and to get out. And one of the things that really um, is sticking in my mind is just seeing the town of Trinidad, which has a, has a really deep history. There's beautiful ar architecture there, some um, wonderful uh, buildings from the mid to late 1800s. Um, and there's a lot of history in that part of Colorado along the Santa, Santa Fe Trail uh, is where Trinidad was located, is located. Um, but also we were really kind of um, surprised, shocked is a little too, too strong of a word, but noticed that, it, that the, the town's population has shrunk substantially and that it seemed like a good number, maybe even as much as 50%, I don't know if that's true or not, but it felt like a good number of homes were just empty, just vacant. There wasn't a lot of life in the community. And then when we drove um, drove back and went kind of through La Vida and Walsenburg, um, the same thing, the downtown areas, the, so many businesses were shuttered, homes empty, um, and so I guess what I, what I started thinking about is, um, what is the experience like for rural Colorado, our smaller towns? I think, um, I will speak for myself, for those of us who live in the city, we tend to be focused on you know what's happening here in this metropolitan area and don't always think about what other Colorado communities are going through. And so um, it th looks like, you know, to me, it looked like times are a little, a little difficult right now. Um, there's not um, the economic base that used to be there and some of the industries to, to support the communities in a way that they once were supported. And so I guess that gets me all to, this, the, to the point of um, during this time of pandemic, um, when we're concerned about local matters, our families and such, um, because it is a global pandemic, there is an opportunity to think broader, to think bigger, right? And I guess I'm, my basic question that I'm asking myself today and thinking about is what, what stories are we telling about ourselves? What stories um, and narratives are we trying to live into for the future? Is it right that I made the assumption that um, some parts of rural Colorado are struggling? It, it seems to be that way, but, um, but I don't know their stories um, and I also haven't taken the time to fully listen to what those experiences are and I think that's really critical as we move forward is to think about what stories are we telling about ourselves? Are we talking about this pandemic being something we need to um, experience together and build deeper and broader and bigger support systems? Um, there is some level of comfort in knowing that people across the globe are experiencing a similar thing right now with, with this pandemic. And I think that gives us an opportunity to think bigger. Even if our world is feeling a little bit smaller, we can think bigger, right? We can think bigger, we can feel bigger with our hearts and um, start asking ourselves, what story do we want for our future? What do we want our future to look like um, in our neighborhoods, in our families, in our state, all parts of our state, um, our country, and the world um, itself? I have some ideas, I'm sure you have some ideas as well. 
Um, but I, I guess um, that's what I'm thinking about today is what stories are we living into to help us move forward into the future? I think we have to um, have envision those things, think about those things in order to move beyond this time and not get stuck um, in the muck of this uh, current pandemic. So I wish you all a good week, a good day. Um, I hope that your worlds might expand just a little bit today at the same time that they've felt closer in. And I wish you all a good day. Bye-bye.